Hey there, my name is Sarah and I'm with the Mount St. Helens Institute. In this quick video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps you should take to prepare for your upcoming climb of Mount St. Helens and show you some of the helpful resources that we have available on our website. So we're going to start off by going to the Mount St. Helens Institute website, which is mshinstitute.org. When we get there, we'll click on Explore and then go to Climbing Information. And on this page, you're going to find a ton of helpful resources. We're not going to go through all the details in this video, but we definitely recommend taking some time to just poke through all of these pages. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the Route Descriptions page to read about the different routes, the summer and the winter route, and decide what time of year you want to climb. If you're an experienced mountaineer with avalanche training and things like that, then climbing year round is an option. Uh, but for most regular hikers, climbing in the summer months is the best bet. That's when the hazards are much lower. Uh, once you've decided what time of year you're climbing, then it's time to get your climbing permit. So head over to the climbing permit page. There are limited numbers of permits available between April and October, and those permits are on sale through recreation.gov, the federal recreation permits website. Uh, the permits go on sale for the first on the first of the month for the entire following month. So that means like all of the permits for July go on sale on June 1st. All of the permits for August go on sale July 1st. So you want to be prepared on the first of the month to jump on and purchase your permit that morning. Once you've got your permit, then it start, it's time to start getting serious about preparing. So think about your training. Uh, the climb of Mount St. Helens is a strenuous, challenging hike. Uh, it's 10 to 12 miles, depending on what route you're on, and about a mile of elevation gain that you're climbing up into the sky. So you want to make sure that you are well prepared, well trained, because of course, the better shape you're in, the more fun you're going to have on your climb. Uh, and we definitely encourage you to take some time to do some training hikes, do some exercise to make sure that you're going to have an awesome time on your climb. You also want to make sure that you're preparing in advance with your packing list, with your gear, uh, making sure that you're ready for all of the conditions that you might find on the mountain, not just the uh, lovely weather that you hope to find, but all of the conditions that you could find. Uh, we can see a range of conditions within a day and within the climbing route. And of course, Mount St. Helens being up at elevation, you're going to find conditions that can be very different than what we're seeing in the, in the lowlands. So making sure that you're prepared for all of those conditions that you might find uh, and the special gear needs. And we've got a whole nother video that takes you into preparing and packing for your climb. As you're getting closer, start to check out the current conditions. On this current conditions page, we always keep it updated with the latest reports from our Mount St. Helens Institute volunteers in terms of what the trail conditions, the snow levels, any uh, hazard areas we're keeping an eye on. That's also the page where you can find links to the different weather forecast sites. And it's always a good idea to compare across sites because the different sites have sort of different opinions, different takes. And so it gives you a sense of the range of conditions that you may find on the mountain. Uh, make sure you're checking those right up to the time that you're getting ready to climb. And then the day before your climb, you want to just really make sure that you're preparing yourself. You're drinking a lot of water. You're eating good, solid meals uh, as much as you can with an early start time, getting a good night's sleep so that you can head up the mountain and have a fabulous time. Uh, we hope this video helps you get ready to prepare for your climb. And we hope that you have an amazing climb of Mount St. Helens. Have fun out there and be safe.